everyone, Zona here to talk about the Everyday Backpack Zip. The Everyday Backpack Zip is a more simplified version of our iconic Everyday Backpack. The first thing you'll notice is that it doesn't have the mag latch. Instead, it has a 270 degree number eight zipper. The second thing you'll notice is the introduction of a new size. Little tiny 15 liter, and our true and classic standard bestseller, the 20 liter. It's currently my favorite bag, and I'll show you some of my loadouts a little later. But first, let's get into colors. The 15 liter zip comes in four colors, bone, ash, black, and midnight, while the 20 liter zip comes in three colors, ash, black, and midnight. On the outside of the bag, you can find 100% recycled, 400D weatherproof nylon canvas shell. It also comes with two external straps, two flexible dividers, and a dedicated laptop compartment in each bag. The 15 liter bag can hold up to a 13 inch laptop and the 20 liter can hold up to a 15 inch laptop. And it also has a dedicated tablet sleeve. The 270 degree zip allows for both top and side access like the everyday backpack. The biggest difference though is on the mag latch, you get that internal expansion where you don't get that here on the zip. Let's get into the differences between the everyday backpack and the everyday backpack zip. First and foremost, you can see that there's no mag latch on the everyday backpack zip. Now, what does that mean? It means that there's no additional expansion or compression in this bag. This bag is a standard liter size. Second, the everyday backpack comes with three flex flow dividers, whereas the everyday backpack zip comes with two. The everyday backpack comes with four external carry straps, whereas the everyday backpack zip only comes with two. You'll also notice that we remove the front stowage pocket for these external carry straps on the everyday backpack zip as you can see here on the everyday backpack. Boop. Another difference between these two bags are with the shoulder straps. They're magnetic on the everyday backpack. Ooh, you don't find that on the everyday backpack zip. Oh no, but it's still awesome. So clearly the everyday backpack has way more bells and whistles, but if you're looking for a sleeker, simpler, yet still functional bag, the everyday backpack zip is your go-to. I'll get into the differences with the 15 liter zip a little further down the road. But for now, let's focus right here with the 20 liter everyday zip, starting with the outside. Commence material read through. Weatherproof, 100% recycled 400D nylon canvas shell is DWR impregnated and double PU coated. The point of that is, is that your gear is safe and weatherproof. Let's check out the bottom. We have 900D waterproof bottom liner. And most of the materials are blue sign approved with the exception of the black colorway. Let's move on to side pockets. Each side pocket on the everyday zip is expandable. This is great for large items like tripod, water, or vodka bottles. Inside the pocket, you'll find our new and improved key tether. It's a bungee cord. Thanks, Dane. It also comes with one of our anchors, which you can attach to your keys, phone, or anything else you want to keep tethered to the bag. You'll also find on the side of the bag, one of three carry handles. One, two, three. It's perfect for top or briefcase style carry. Let's move around to the back of the bag. The shoulder straps still feature an axial pivot, but we've completely redesigned the shape of the bag to be more ergonomic and more comfortable on your back. On our shoulder strap, you can also find our tried and true one-handed sternum strap system. I'll show you how I use this a little later. We've also updated the back panel across the entire everyday backpack line. The back panel now features more durable fabric without losing that breathability. The luggage pass-through also has a mini update. Instead of Velcro, we got a nice little magnetic clasp there. Ooh, Brendan, here it comes, here it comes. Along with the luggage pass-through, this back panel also serves as an area to attach the new padded Peak Design hip belt. Sold separately. Flash, flash, flash. <laughs> I'll run through how to get this bad boy on in a minute, but keep in mind that we put a lot of thought, design, and engineering behind these little wings. Let's get into zippers. This bag features a 270 degree weatherproof number eight zip, which allows for full top access and side access of the bag. A big thing that we tackled with the Everyday Line version two were zippers. Zippers are the number one fail point in most bags. We created our own in-house zipper called Ultra Zip. It is 20% more durable than our previous bag. Ultra zips are built to withstand decades of use, made possible by 
ultra high molecular weight thermoplastic thread. Bottom line is, these zippers are built to last. And you'll notice a difference once you have this bad boy in your hands. Now let's get into access. Was Zona about to skip the security zip feature? Unbelievable. Let's talk about security zips real fast. Our security zips are designed to help deter pickpocketing. And what they do is they make it much harder to open up the bag. So for the traveling zips up at the top, you can open up the hypalon loop on one of them. So what you do is you take that off and then you feed it through the ring on the other zipper and then reattach that hypalon to that first zip. And because they can't separate, you can't open the bag through them now. And so for the two zips down at the bottom of the bag, you undo the zipper pull and loop it through the external carry loops from the cord hook system and then reattach it to the zipper. And that keeps them from being opened. Okay, Zona, bag to you. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get into access. This backpack comes with four zipper pulls. I'm gonna show you the most ideal way to set this up for quick access into your bag. First, put one on each side of the bottom of the bag. One, two. Second, put the other two on either side of the top portion of the bag, depending on which way you like to access your bag. Now, for top access, just got one quick zip. For side access, there's two ways to go. First, you can use your top zip. Voila! The second option is using your bottom zip. Hey! This is perfect for both left and right-handers. Ned Flanders would be quite proud. Let's talk laptops. The laptop compartment can be found on the top of the bag. Let's dive into the inside. Inside you'll find a quick access pocket and two slip pockets. This is great for all your chargers or little things that you want to be able to grab on the go. The laptop compartment also features a tablet slot, shown here. It's also great for documents too. Keep in mind that only the 20 liter zip features the extra tablet and document sleeve and also the adjustable laptop compartment. But I'll show you how to use that in a little bit. Now that we're done dancing around the outside of the bag, let's tango into the inside. The inside features a high visibility gray interior cotton poly twill blend. It also features two flexible dividers that attach via Velcro. You can connect them vertically or horizontally to organize your stuff. I'll show you how I use them during our loadouts a little later. The side flap features two pockets, a quick access magnetic pocket and a more secure bottom zip pocket. Each one also features two smaller slip pockets inside. Trust me, they're in there for all your little dingle dangles and dongle dingles. Both side flaps feature the same pockets. Let's check out the top pocket. hey -o! There's an additional internal pocket on the top. This is great for any quick stow items you wanna put in here, like your cell phone, chapstick, sunglasses, maybe a passport. It's also where you'll find your two external carry straps when you first get your bag. One, two. That's enough chit chat about the bag. Let's see this thing in action. All right, we're gonna put this guy on. First, we gotta adjust our shoulder straps. Think about it as if you're skiing, right? Down and back, whoop, locked and loaded. To loosen, grab the loop and pull up. Let's get into the sternum strap that I was talking about earlier. Now, there's two components to the sternum strap. There's a permanent, more toothier side, this one here, and the removable side, which features the nylon loop. You're gonna pull that guy out, and you're gonna match it up to the bar tacks on the other side. As you can see here, I'm down one, two. So I'm gonna go to the other side, one, two. Tighten that up. You can pull to tighten and pop up to loosen. So I'm not too happy with the placement of this sternum strap, so I'm gonna show you how to make adjustments. First, loosen and remove the semi-permanent side. Second, you'll see an arrow on how to remove the more permanent side. You lift up and out. Perfect. Now, that was on the second bar tack, so I'm gonna move it up a notch. 
much like my dating game. Secure and tighten. Voila! That feels much better. You know what? I can still use a little bit more support. What about that padded waist belt I showed you earlier? Brendan, hit me up, bud. Hot bread, Z! Woo! Do you remember the slot I showed you inside the luggage pass-through? This is where you install the padded hip belt. There's a Velcro component inside the loop. That's what we're gonna use to secure the hip belt onto the bag. To install, first make sure you can read the PD logo. Second, make sure the Velcro is facing out. You're gonna feed the loop through the back slot. until you feel the Velcro line up. Push down to secure. Now you're ready to go. Let's throw this guy back on. All right, stern and straps on. Let's get this hip belt going. You're gonna take your G hook and you're gonna thread it through the loop. And you can tighten. There are two adjustment points on the hip belt. One, two. It's important to make these adjustments before you go out. So when you install the hip belt, you're just ready to rock and roll. It's also really important that you understand where this hip belt should fall. It should line up just above the hips so your hips take the weight of the bag. It's important to know that the padded hip belt is not compatible with the 15 liter version of the everyday zip. All right, I got my sternum and hip belt secure in my bag. Now let's talk about capture compatibility. If you're not familiar with that product, check out our capture instructional somewhere on this page. Now, there's four mounting points on this bag for capture. Two on the hip belt and one on each strap. Let me show you what it looks like. Here's one and here. Don't forget, there's a second mounting point just back here. Now I'm ready to rock and roll. I can have my camera up here or down here. That's not going anywhere. And that's capture compatibility. Let's go back to the inside of the bag. Each bag comes with two flexible dividers. The neat thing about these is that you can create little shelving units just like this. Or for any taller items, you can actually create full pass-throughs. Like that. Now, since these dividers are Velcro, you can configure them any way you wish to accommodate all the stuff that you're carrying. Why don't we check out a few other ways we can insert these dividers? Cut. Our second configuration is a Victor Special. It consists of putting one of the dividers vertically and the second one horizontally. This allows you to create different compartments within the bag. You have two tall compartments for shoes or lunch and a quick dump zone on the top for any quick access items that you need. Let's check out the last configuration that gets requested a lot, especially at PD Flagship. The last configuration doesn't include any dividers. This is perfect for students who have books or anyone who's carrying large or irregular items that can't actually be compartmentalized with the dividers. The beautiful thing about this bag is that even though you're not using dividers, you can utilize the side access to quickly find the items that may have gotten buried in your bag. Let me show you some tips on how to reinstall these dividers on the bags. You may have noticed on these dividers, there are two bar tacks on each end of the dividers. These are guidelines for you to use to install these dividers in the center of the bag. It's right here. Let's get to installation. Zip up one side. Now what you want to do is fold your divider and insert without the Velcro touching. Line up the bar tacks with the center line Boom. Repeat with the second one. Don't forget that the Velcro has omnidirectional teeth, which allows you to configure this in any direction and still be able to bear weight. Let's talk about one of my favorite features across the entire bag line, external carry. There are 10 external loops that you can find throughout the bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, ah, 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 10 external loops. 
Now, if you're like me living in the city, you're probably commuting around on one of those jump bikes. I like to bring my own helmet, but they're bulky to carry around and it's too big to fit inside the bag. So let's utilize external carry to stow it. Grab your strap, secure it in the loop. You're gonna hear that toothy pop. That's how you know it's secure. Loop around to the top of the bag, pop. Repeat on the second side. Cinch down to tighten. I'm looking so cool in my Peak Design bag and nerdy with my helmet. And away we go. Damn it. All right, so now I'm in photo mode. I got my PD travel tripod. I'm gonna show you how to utilize these external straps to keep that thing secure. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. All right. Oh my God, this expandability is so useful. All right, so I got my PD travel tripod in the side pocket. Now, there's two loops in here that I'm gonna use to secure this down. I'm gonna secure one side down in this loop. It's a little tricky to get to. The second loop is on the top, here. Loop it on, pull, then you can cinch. So you can tuck away the excess inside the pocket. No slop shop. Perfect. Now, when I'm not using my external straps, I like to stow them inside the side pockets for easy access later. This is how I like to utilize the external carry straps for any kind of tall carry, like tripods or vodka bottles. All right, let's dive into the adjustable laptop sleeve. Just note that this is only available in the 20 liter zip version. What's so neat about this feature is that it allows for any laptop between 13 and 15 inches to sit at the top of the bag for easy access and removal. This bag is currently set up for a 15 inch laptop. Let me show you how it sits. As you can see, it's nestled right there at the top. Now I can easily grab it out. Let me show you what a 13 inch laptop looks like on this setting. Thanks Vic. This guy's nestled pretty far down. That's not really fun to get to. Let me show you how to fix the problem. First, remove the top flap. As you can see here, there's two settings on the bag, 15 and 13 inch. Currently, it's set at 15. To set it to 13, you're gonna remove the Velcro and slide it up. Set it to 13. Now, put your top flap back on. Now you're ready to go. I'm gonna grab my 13 inch laptop, put it in. And voila, sitting nicely at the top for me to access. Our designer Joey spent countless hours building out the feature on these bags because he wanted to create a convenient way for everyone to access their laptop no matter what the size. Thanks, Joey. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of our videos, Zona Loda! <laughs> I'm really hot on the 15 liter zip now for my daily commute. So I'm about 5'8", which gives you some kind of perspective on the proportion of this bag. All right, let's check out what's inside. Now it's been pretty rainy and dreary in SF. <laughs> so I got my trusty jersey umbrella. Let's take a look what else I got in here. I got my camera. I can also utilize those quick stash pockets on the side for my mangoes, my shades for the two seconds of sun we get. Let's dive in on the side here. We got my headphones, layers. Now I put my wallet in the more secure zip pocket on the side. Flipping around to the other side, got my Bon Me. Mm. Got some extra batteries. 
And as you can see, I utilize those smaller slip pockets inside the zip for better storage. Now let's check out what I'm loading up on the tech side of things. I have my trusty 13 inch laptop. My spectacles case and my PD buff to stay warm. And that's it. That's my daily commute. Now let's check out what I'm doing on the weekends with my 20 liter. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. All right, it's the weekend. I'm off the Peter Daring clock and I'm just going around shooting my friends. Let's see what I'm carrying. All right, first and foremost, got to stay hydrated. I'm going to do side access here since I'm carrying a lot of gear. Got my trusty 70 to 200. Ooh, tech pooch. And my quick stow pouch, got my SD card holder. And over here, rocking my battery charger. Let's check out the other side. Got my Nikon D800 with 14 to 24. The ultimate dongle accessory. And I got my laptop charger. Since it's the weekend, that means I'm carrying around my 15 inch editing beast. And by that, I mean my laptop. I also have some documents in my quick stow pouch. I got my trusty battery bank with charging cable and my AirPods. The 20 liter everyday zip serves as a fantastic simplified camera bag. But don't forget, you can also use it as everyday carry to and from work. By utilizing the two flexible dividers, this bag can suit all your carry needs. That concludes Zona's loadout 20 liter. Woo! So there you have it. Our designer set out to create a more simplified everyday backpack without losing functionality. And they achieved that with the everyday backpack zip. Not only do we add a smaller size, but we were also able to maintain a sleek, functional, no slop design. I hope you enjoyed this intimate one-on-one -on -one time between me and you. And though you can't email me directly, you can reach out to our wonderful customer support team at info at peakdesign.com. And if you find yourself in San Francisco, please stop by our Hayes Valley store. Zona out. The everyday zip is a, uh, okay, cut. Should I say the everyday backpack zip? Yeah. I knew it. The everyday backpack zip is it more functionally? Nope. I got this. Hold on. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. The Everyday Backpack Zip is a visually simple... I'm trying to read this off and I shouldn't do that. Okay, guys, you know I go through this for the first 10 minutes.